Good morning and happy Friday. I want to finish off the week with a discussion about fog. It's not just that there's one type, there are actually multiple types of fog and each one has a whole lot of elements that go into it. And if you often think like, man, it gets foggy a lot here in Cincinnati. Well, it does. We're actually a part of the country where we end up seeing about 20 to 30 really dense fog days per year. And it starts to pick up even more once you get out into our very eastern spots. So if you feel like it gets foggy here, you are indeed correct. But what types of fog do we see? The first of which is called radiational fog. It basically means that the energy here at the surface radiates away. And as that moisture is left closer to the ground, we start to get that good setup for fog. So as we go throughout the night, the air cools more at the surface. There's still some moisture there, so that's why it cools a little bit more rapidly. But with time, that moisture becomes the fog, the vapor that we see. And, you know, we see this on a lot of our clear nights, especially in the valleys here in the tri-state or even closer as you get to the Ohio River. But, you know, speaking of bodies of water, that's another source a lot of times for fog. We see this, I, I've noticed quite a bit in the winter months, we get what's called steam fog. Yes, steam fog. So what happens is the water temperature of the Ohio River or the body of water is warmer than the air temperature above it. And again, that water is adding moisture to the lower portion of the atmosphere as it, it just naturally evaporates out there. And it just, that's that warm, moist layer at the surface, which becomes the perfect scenario for fog. And it can look really kind of a almost eerie and spooky, that steam fog out there on our bodies of water. The other type of fog that we can see quite often here in the tri-state is actually just what we call an advection fog, or basically it's moving in because of the wind. So you have the wind moving across the ground that can be still on the cold side. So in the spring, this will happen, especially whenever the ground temperatures are still cold or the ground is still frozen. But you have the wind bringing in moist air, cold air trapped at the surface. And while the upper levels are warmer, they eventually start to cool. But again, that moisture is still close to the ground and it's saturated. So as that wind comes in, it actually creates almost what looks like a, a rolling fog that comes in over the landscape. And again, we see this a lot in like the early spring. At this point, the ground's too warm. We're not going to see as much of that. So there you have it, three different types of fog. Um, and other than that, happy Friday, guys. Have a great weekend. I'm sorry, it's gonna be a dreary one.